What is it, hero? <laughs> Scar is caught in the fishing net. No, that's Spotty. We need to save him. Let's get our wetsuits and dive in. <laughs> Huh? Aww, they're hugging each other. Suddenly, a huge grizzly bear charged at me. <gasps> then what happened? I wrestled the bear like this. <clears throat> Soon, the bear got tired and ran away. You wrestled a bear? That's so awesome. <laughs> But if you encounter a big grizzly bear, lay on your stomach and keep as still as possible until it goes away. Okay, Ranger Rocky, can you tell us another cool story? Maybe next time, Leo. I've got wildlife patrol duty right now. Oh, I guess we'll see you around, Ranger Rocky. Goodbye, Junior Rangers. Goodbye, Ranger Rocky. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Hi, Leo. Look at these two giant lizards hugging each other. Aw. Um, I don't think they're actually hugging. But let's look up more information about those lizards on the computer. Great idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. I'll wait on the line. Okay, Zari. See you later, hero. <laughs> They're Malayan water monitors. They can be found in forests, mangrove swamps, and even man-made canals in urban areas. Malayan water monitors are carnivorous, but they eat a wide variety of food types. They use their long, forked tongues to detect scents of prey. The lizards Zari found are not hugging each other. They're two males wrestling to see who's more powerful. Oh, no! We need to stop them from hurting each other. We'll come over right away, Zari. Please, hurry! Ranger out! Ranger out! Let's go break up the water monitor fight. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus one, Activate! Here, Here we go. go! Guys, stop wrestling! Please! Hi, Zari. Don't get too close to them. Hi, Leo. Telling Scar and Spotty to stop fighting isn't working. Scar and Spotty? That's Scar and that's Spotty. <gasps> oh, no! Scar is pushing Spotty down! Ow! Poor Spotty. I hope he's okay. Scar is such a big bully. I hope he's not going to pick a fight with another animal. I think Scar is looking for food. Look, he's sniffing around with his tongue. <laughs> oh, a squirrel. No, Scar! Look over here instead! <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for Where, Where in the, the world? world? In this game, three lucky contestants will have to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all-expense-paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, friendly fixer-upper, Fluffy. Today's first topic is mystery country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. But not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today. So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is the Mid-Autumn Festival, which is celebrated when the moon is at its brightest and roundest. Families gather to celebrate it with reunion dinners, lighting lanterns, and appreciating the view of the moon. Oh, so close! Your second clue is the moon cake! The moon cake is round in shape as a symbol. 
symbol of the moon. It's so popular during the Mid-Autumn Festival that it is now commonly known as the Mooncake Festival. Sloppy, you are correct. Today's mystery country is China. Congratulations, Sloppy. Well, that was our show. So much to see and so much to learn. Come back and find out more at Where in the World. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Yay! Billy, Chucky, and I are done with our airplane. Cool airplane, Paula. But check out the one Calc and I made. Your airplane looks nice, Tim. Of course. And I'm sure our airplane can fly better than yours. Oh, yeah? Why don't we see whose airplane can stay in the air the longest? Here, you're on. The numbers can help us count how long our airplanes stay in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you guys can go first. You can throw the airplane, Paula. Okay, Billy, let's count how long our airplane stays in the air. Here goes. One, two. Our airplane stayed in the air for only two counts, Paula. That's not very long at all. Two counts? That's easy to beat. I'm going to throw the airplane, Calc. I'll have a better chance of winning because I'm taller than you. Fly, airplane, fly! One. No! Your airplane only stayed in the air for one count, Tim. I guess that means we win. Ugh, we need better airplanes. Hey, Tim, check this out. It says, get cool airplanes and more at Mr. Merchant's shop. Yes, yes, let's do that. Okay, everyone, let's go to the desert to get a better airplane. Hi, Mr. Merchant. Do you have any toy airplanes that are better than this one? Yes, of course. You do? Are they super cool? Can they also go really fast and fly really high? Definitely. I have the best toy airplanes in the world. Awesome. Can we have one? Sure. In five to ten business days when my stock arrives. What? No. Why do we have to wait that long? Oh, sorry. I just sold my very last cool toy airplane to the prince. The prince? There's a prince here? Hey, guys, look. It's a cool airplane. Ah, yes. That's the one I sold to the prince. Maybe he'll let you play with it. Then let's follow that airplane to find the prince. Quickly, everyone. The airplane is flying into the palace. Halt! You may not enter the palace without an official invitation. That is the rule. Please, Mr. Guard, we just want to ask the prince if we can check out his cool airplane. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> prince Emil, please, you have to let me do my job. Hi, Prince Emil. I'm Tim. You have such an awesome toy airplane. Can we play with it? Hmm. Only if I get to play together with you guys, too. I don't get to play much with other children. Sure you can join us, Amio. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yay! Let's go fly the plane in the desert. Do you really have to come with us? Yes, my prince. I'm sorry, but my orders are to keep you safe. That is the rule. <sighs> Fine. Wow, your plane is so awesome, Emil. It can even go faster than Calc. You must have lots of cool stuff as a prince. What's it like being a prince? My father, the Sultan, makes sure I have the very best things. But I also have lots of rules to follow. And it can get really boring in the palace. That's why I am so glad to be able to play with all of you today. Come on, guys. Let's fly the plane higher. Wait, your highness. Please come back under the umbrella. It is very sunny today. Can you just go away and let me have some fun? I am sorry, my prince. But your father, the Sultan, has asked me to watch over you. I have to stay by your side. 
It's the rule. Hiramil, would you like to have a go at playing with the airplane? Yes, I would really like to. But first, I really need to go to the toilet. Okay, I will take you back to the palace right away. No, uh, I, um, I really need to go now. Can we go to the toilet in the marketplace? It's much nearer. As you wish, my prince. Ah, a toilet. I'm going to take a while. I'll stand guard outside and wait for you, my prince. Emil's airplane is so cool. I can't wait to play with it again. Yeah, I want to give it a try, too. What is it, Calc? Hey, who's that? Guys, it's me, Prince Emil. Emil? Wow, you look different. Shh, I'm in disguise, so people won't recognize me as the prince. Quick, let's get out of here. Um, what about Mr. Guard? He needs to stay by your side to protect you. Isn't that a rule? No, if he comes along, we will never have any fun. Don't worry, I do this all the time. It's fine, come on. Wow, this airplane can fly up really high in the sky. No, 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 not too high. Oh, Mr. Guard will see it and find us. Let's fly it lower to the ground, okay? But that's not very fun. It can still be lots of fun. Here, let me show you some tricks we can do with the plane. See that? It is a loop-to-loop. -loop. Cool! Awesome! Here, try it, but remember to fly it low. I'm almost doing it. Nope, it's falling. Um, guys, what's that coming towards us? Ah, it's a snake! Oh, no! There's another one there, too! What are we gonna do? I wish Mr. Guard was here to save us! That's it! We need to fly the airplane up high so Mr. Guard can find us! Here goes! Why is the airplane not going higher? Ah! It's falling! Oh, no! It must be out of batteries! We're never going to get Mr. Guard's attention now! Don't give up yet! We still have this airplane! But it can't fly as high as the cool remote control airplane, Paula. Maybe it can. Calc is super strong. He'll be able to throw the airplane really high up. I hope Mr. Guard sees it. Mr. Guard, quick, save us from the snakes. Very well, unknown child. Stand back. Take that, snakes. Yeah! You saved us! Thank you, Mr. Guard. Your Highness! Where did you come from? I was looking everywhere for you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. And I saw you saved my friends. Thank you for getting rid of the snakes. You're welcome. It is my job to make sure you are safe. By the way, it is getting late, my prince. Then we should go back to the palace. After all... It's the rule! <laughs> <laughs> Of the day. Two snakes! Two airplanes! Dance with Calc! Hey, Tim. How come you're still playing with this airplane? It's still pretty cool. It's light, doesn't need batteries, and it can also do the loop-de-loop. -loop. Watch! Oops! Oh, dear. One of its wings is broken. Nuh-uh. It's even cooler now. Look. Four wings are better than two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim. Do join us on our next adventure. Bye.
get too close to them. Hi, Leo. Telling Scar and Spotty to stop fighting isn't working. Scar and Spotty? That's Scar and that's Spotty. <gasps> oh, no! Scar is pushing Spotty down. Ow! Poor Spotty. I hope he's okay. Scar is such a big bully. I hope he's not going to pick a fight with another animal. I think Scar is looking for food. Look, he's sniffing around with his tongue. <laughs> oh, a squirrel. No, Scar. Look over here instead. <laughs> Good boy, Hero. A water monitor won't be able to climb the tree. I'm sure they only move well in water. Don't assume too quickly, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Don't worry, Junior Rangers. The squirrel moves too fast to get caught by Scar. Malayan water monitors are very good swimmers. Their tails are longer than their bodies, which helps them steer in the water. These water monitors can sometimes be found resting in trees. When climbing trees, they use their powerful legs and sharp claws, and their long tails help to provide balance. <laughs> Is Scar attacking Hero? No, he's actually trying to defend himself. Hero, stop disturbing Scar! Aww, Scar ran away. It seems water monitors are really misunderstood. Is there more to learn about them, Ranger Rocky? Of course, Zari. My friend Ranger Ivan can give us more information. Let's call him. Hello, Ranger Ivan. Hi, Ranger Rocky. Hi, Junior Rangers. Hi, Ranger Ivan. Can you tell us more about the Malayan Water Monitor? Sure, Zari. Well, the Malayan Water Monitor is Singapore's largest lizard, and uh, it plays a very important role as both predator and scavenger. These animals are forced to adapt and learn to live with human beings, mostly because we have encroached onto their spaces. The wetlands that the Malayan Water Monitors depend on have largely been lost to urban development. You will usually see monitor lizards in the reservoirs swimming across our large urban drains and canals and sometimes you even have reports of monitor lizards in swimming pools. Uh, however, there is usually very little need to worry about Malayan water monitors posing any real danger to human beings. These are very shy creatures um, and they avoid humans. In most cases, if people get too close, they will prefer to run off only if they are cornered or deliberately provoked to human beings uh, risk getting bitten. Um, if you see a monitor lizard out in the wild or in an urban area, keep a distance and there's no need to worry about people getting hurt. Thank you for teaching us more about the Malayan water monitors. You're welcome, Ranger out. Ranger out. What is it, hero? <gasps> Scar is caught in the fishing net. No, that's Spotty. We need to save him. Let's get our wetsuits and dive in. Not so fast. That's too dangerous. You won't be able to see well and his tail could injure you. Then we should lift Spotty out of the water first. But how do we do that without getting too close? I know. Katie, Hero, follow me. Zari, you stay here with Ranger Rocky and keep an eye on Spotty. You got it, Leo. Watch out below. Move this way! Uh, no, the other way! It's still not hooking onto the net! Katie, take over. I'll go down and attach the hook to the fishing net. Get back in the vehicle, Leo. Let me do it. Wow! Awesome! Move down a little more. That's it! And done! Lift him up, Junior Rangers! You got it, Ranger Rock. There you go. Free at last. Goodbye, Spotty. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to free Spotty from the fishing net. Hey, Leo. I challenge you to an arm wrestling match. What? You want to arm wrestle with me? Afraid you'll lose? Of course not. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Now, hero! Huh? <laughs> I win! Hey, no fair!
there. I want a rematch. Hero can't help you this time. <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi, Junior Rangers. You may not see wild animals in your everyday life, but if you ever happen to encounter them, remember these ABCs. A. Avoid contact with the animal. B. Be calm. C. Call the authorities. Reach out to these agencies for assistance. Here are their numbers. Support Singapore's wildlife agencies by donating to their causes or becoming a volunteer. Check out these links. Ranger, Ranger out! out.